What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. Now, I gotta be honest. I support all sorts of comic creators. I support all sorts of individuals out there that want to put out good content, what have you. I, I honestly don't care what you want to do, what how you want to put it out there, what you're making your content about. I don't care normally. What I will probably, you know, give some pointers and ideas on is what not to do oftentimes when it comes to uh, promoting said material and putting it out like, I don't know, taking over previ previously established characters, uh, maybe changing them a lot and stuff like that. And uh, definitely, definitely a, a thing that you should probably avoid at all cost is also say saying that you're going to stick it to another group and that supporting this is going to stick it to the other group. Now, before somebody comes into my comment section and says, well, that's what CG does, CG and Eric July and all these independent creators, all they say all day and night is buy my stuff because it's not what the big guys are putting out. But if you think about it, no, that's not what they're saying. They actually, when you watch them create their books, watch them put out their stuff, Eric July's uh, ISOM, which, by the way, I, st I, I got my ISOM number two here. You know, ISOM number two. I love it. I find it actually probably better than the first one. Uh, still curious where it's going. But he never... He, when he was promoting it, when Eric July was promoting it, he was talking about how the big two have failed, how the comic industry has failed. Therefore, I'm stepping up and putting my hat in the ring to help out, help try to revitalize comics. That's what Comics Gate is all about and everything like that. My buddy Dre's putting out comics. I have all sorts of buddies putting out content that I support that I'm going to continue supporting. This is not something I want to support. And it's not just because uh, I don't give a crap about the character and I don't like how what they did to the character, but it, it's something with, uh, you know, saying stick it to the other guy. It kind of puts a, a taste in my mouth that I don't like, but let's, let's see this, okay? DC comic writer Tim Sheridan begs followers to purchase Gay Alan Scott, the Green Lantern series, to own Comicsgate. And yes, he actually said it. And we're going to play it right here because uh, I also got blocked by uh, Tim Sheridan. Granted, I also put out an innocuous comment, you know, uh, saying this is the gayish ish ever. You know, just, just an innocuous comment. Uh, but comic friends, queer friends, allies, I need your help. Please share this and let's work together to deliver CG a big L. I love, hashtag I love Alan Scott. Oh, let me, let me get the audio on. That's my bad. Alan Scott, the Green Lantern, and I just opened up a box of a... Ah, uh, god dang it. Okay, anyways, he basically goes through here. And uh, let's see, can I can I get it to work? God dang it. Anyways, he basically ends up saying, yes, stick it to CG. As you can tell right there, it's annoying, it's stupid, it's a bad idea. On top of that, we have other tweets to go through. And we'll, we'll get to his tweets before we actually read the page, shall we? But for you innocents wondering what CG is, they are a hateful hateful group of misogynist, queerphobic, racist a-holes who actively work to take down comics with any hint of diversity. They deserve a big loss. That would be the L I mentioned. Well, um, I don't really see your comic doing any better, but let, let's think, okay? Uh, don't have it near me, but uh, a good buddy of mine, Hojo. He's going to be coming on Ballbusters. He's been on once before. He put out a comic called The Mythicals, starring a female actor. Well, starring a, a strong female individual. Isom number one has uh, Yaira, strong female individual. Isom is black. So what they mean by diversity ultimately ends up being uh, gay characters. Now, I don't think people actually have a problem with gay characters. In fact, I think people really don't give a shit is what it boils down to when it comes to gay characters. What people don't want is when the character's sole existence is the fact that he's gay 
and also when you take pre-existing characters and make them gay, I'm pretty sure that's something else they don't really want. Yeah, you ever think of that? No? Oh, well, yeah, because your character writing that you do now, you have to take pre-existing characters like uh, Alan Scott here, turn him gay in order to make his whole like existence work and for your character designs and stuff like that to work because they can't stand up alone. As you can see, like nobody cares about these characters anymore. Nobody buys DC Comics, and I'm pretty sure nobody's gonna buy this comic. But let's see. Uh, I'm scrolling down here real quick because I want I want to read this to you. I can't believe I even have to post this. But no, Alan Scott does not have a have sex with J. Edgar Hoover in our book. Out of 10-24, Hoover blackmails Green Lantern into working more closely with the JSA, Justice, League, Justice Society of America. Yes, Hoover is creepy, but so are the a-holes posting misleading BS to keep you from reading. And not to spill anything, but just to be even clearer, Hoover tries to blackmail GL, tries Hoover trying to blackmail a prominent figure with com compromising intel unheard of. Well, essentially his intel is this. So you go back here. This is the beginning of the comic. You know, Alan's got gay, having love, all sorts of that stuff. Nobody really gives a... Well, people care right now because it's very stupid and actually does take a shot at Christianity. But those images, you, you scroll up here, we're, we're going to come to this panel. And I'm going to zoom in for you. Knowing that Alan Scott's gay, we're going to read this. As you can see, I'm real. I am a real believer in photographic evidence. He's scared. I told you, I get what I want. Oh, also, we're having a little get together in the for in Forest Hills this weekend. You'll come. Clyde will give you the details on your way out. I think Clyde was an openly gay individual. Um, and Alan. Bring your com bring the combat boots if they still fit. Um, how else am I supposed to uh recognize this scene as nothing more than J. Edgar Hoover blackmailing Tim Tim this this dude Green Lantern at the time into you know a romp in the sack? How else am I supposed to interpret this? Why am I bringing combat boots to the forest? Why am I doing all this now? But it probably explains on the comic. But when you see this panel, um, yeah, yeah, I don't see you interpreting it any other way. And the dude, the dude that wrote this, let's be real, the, the Tim Sheridan here is the weak-willed individual, scared of his own shadow. Any sort of pushback. He's been blocking people on any sort of pushback. You can go on Twitter and so many people are admitting that they got blocked by the dude. Okay. Also, he's doing blockchains because people that aren't in there even interacting with him are getting blocked. The dude's, the dude's just a scaredy cat that can't stand actual criticism of anything. He has to try to diminish other people's works, call them a hate group, just to be able to raise up his own thing, and it doesn't work. They've been doing this now for literal years, and it hasn't helped them once. So, have fun, Tim Sheridan. I'm pretty sure this comic's done and gonna, gonna do great. Just, just bang your numbers coming at you. But I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Let me get your thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video, go live, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now. What's going on guys? Listen, I don't know about you, but uh, I like to indulge in some of the uh, li liquids of fun times, okay? And oftentimes I wake up the next day with, uh, with a headache and stuff like that. And to be honest, the only way that truly helps cure these uh, morning blues as as I would call them would be coffee and you know who puts out good coffee guys coffeebrandcoffee.com listen 
Coffee Brand Coffee is an American-based company. It, it was founded by the quartering. He's going out there. He just wants to sell you coffee. He doesn't want to sell you a political opinion. He doesn't care what your politicals are. He doesn't even care what your cultural opinions are, okay? He just wants to come out here and sell good American coffee sourced here in the States. It, it, it is... It, it is all fantastic and amazing. You have 4,000 verified reviews. Most of them are five star, four star. People are loving this. And I don't blame them because when you take a look at some of these flavors, you got bourbon flavored coffee. God dang, that sounds amazing. You got gunpowder green tea. I like the boom boom sticks and I want to know what's going on right there and when I drink cocoa I haven't drank it in a while due to the keto diet you know that you know trying to lose some weight but when I do drink cocoa or anything like that I like some sweetness I like some richness and I like some enjoyability in my cocoa that's why I'm taking a look over here at this rich caramel cocoa I mean just 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 think of how amazing it is and guys if you go to coffee brand coffee which links will be in the description down below you can use coupon code back taco one word back taco and you can get 10 percent off your purchase that's coffeebrandcoffee.com coupon code back taco